It was a bright sunlit day when Clara and Robert, a modest couple from a quiet village, entered the hospital for their long-awaited ultrasound. Their hearts brimmed with excitement and a hint of nervousness. Clara's unusually large belly had grown rapidly in recent weeks, fueling their curiosity and concern. As they sat in the waiting room, the chatter of other expecting parents filled the air, but Clara and Robert were lost in their thoughts. What if it's twins? Robert whispered, his voice tinged with nervous excitement. Clara smiled softly, placing her hand on her belly. Whatever it is, we're ready. When their names were called, they entered the examination room hand in hand. Dr. Sandra, their trusted physician, greeted them warmly. Let's see what surprises your baby has in store for us today, she said, preparing the ultrasound equipment. As the gel was applied to Clara's belly, Robert leaned closer to the screen, his eyes wide with anticipation. At first, Dr. Sandra's face lit up as she examined the images. There's your baby, she said, pointing to the screen, but her expression quickly shifted. A frown crept across her face and her movements became more deliberate. She murmured something under her breath, her brow furrowed in confusion. Is everything okay, doctor? Clara asked, her voice trembling. Dr. Sandra hesitated, then left the room abruptly, returning moments later with a group of colleagues. The room grew tense as the medical team studied the screen. This can't be, one of them muttered, shaking his head. Clara's anxiety peaked. Please tell us what's happening, she pleaded. Dr. Sandra turned to them with a cautious smile. Clara, Robert, it appears you're not expecting just one baby, or even two. You're having 10. The words hung in the air like a thunderclap. Clara and Robert stared at the doctor, their faces pale with shock. 10? Robert whispered, his voice barely audible. Yes, 10, Dr. Sandra confirmed. It's incredibly rare, but it seems you've been blessed with decuplets. News of Clara's miraculous pregnancy spread quickly through their small village. The community, known for its close-knit bonds, rallied around the couple. Neighbors brought meals, baby clothes, diapers, and even offered to help set up the nursery. Clara and Robert, overwhelmed by the support, turned their spare room into a cozy nursery. Robert spent late nights assembling cribs and painting the walls a soft pastel shade. It's amazing how everyone's helping us, Clara said one evening as they sorted through donated baby items. I told you, love, Robert replied, his voice filled with quiet conviction. We're never alone. God always provides. Despite the joy and support, Clara's pregnancy became increasingly challenging. Carrying 10 babies was a monumental task. Each step grew heavier, each day more exhausting. By the seventh month, Clara could barely move without assistance. One night as Clara rested on the couch, she felt a sharp pain shoot through her abdomen. Robert, she cried out, clutching her belly. Robert rushed to her side, panic etched across his face. We're going to the hospital, he said firmly, helping her to the car. At the hospital, Dr. Sandra prepared for an emergency ultrasound. The pain could be due to the pressure of carrying so many babies, she explained. But as the examination began, her face turned grave. What is it? Robert demanded, his voice tight with fear. Dr. Sandra hesitated. I need to consult with my colleagues, she said before leaving the room. Minutes felt like hours as Clara and Robert waited. When Dr. Sandra returned, she brought a team of specialists. We've identified a growth alongside the babies, and she explained. It's not a baby, but we can't be sure what it is without further investigation. The uncertainty weighed heavily on the couple. What does this mean for our children? Clara asked, her voice breaking. We'll do everything we can to ensure their safety, Dr. Sandra reassured her. A week later, Clara went into labor unexpectedly. The hospital staff sprang into action preparing for the unprecedented delivery. Robert stayed by her side, his hand gripping hers tightly. In the operating room, the atmosphere was electric. One by one, the babies were delivered. Their tiny cries filled the room, bringing tears to Clara's eyes. They're beautiful, Robert whispered, his voice choked with emotion. But as the ninth baby was placed in an incubator, the room fell silent. The medical team focused on the last baby, when it was finally removed, Dr. Sandra's expression softened. Clara Robert, she began gently. The tenth wasn't a baby. It was a fibroid, a benign growth. It caused the pain and triggered premature labor. But all nine babies are healthy. 
Relief and heartbreak mingled in their tears. They had mourned the loss of a child they thought they'd have, but rejoiced in the nine lives they now held. Weeks later, the family returned home. The nursery, now bustling with life, was a testament to their journey. Each crib was filled with love and hope as Clara and Robert tended to their children. The community continued to support them, organizing fundraisers and offering help with the babies. We couldn't have done this without them, Clara said, cradling one of her daughters. Robert nodded. It's a miracle, one we'll cherish forever. Dear viewers, how would you react to such an incredible journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, goodbye.